went to work and uh, a lot of analysis trying to figure out what's going on with sales. It's kind of interesting. Um, nothing you're probably interested in. Anyway, uh, shoes on. Two, uh, two ditties of the T-Volve and then I'm getting out of here. Brandon is switching the schedule, so I'm on my own today. I'm gonna do shoulders. Actually, I'm gonna do hit cardio, then I'm gonna do shoulders. All right. <laughs> I will tell you my most exciting thing right now is thinking about eating in an hour. I'm very, very, very excited about that. I think there's a little bit of um, fatigue that I'm catching in the morning until I eat. And again, about an hour, it's about an hour 20 before I'm ready to eat and my stomach is growling. So. This is about the third day, so uh, Brandon was saying it should get better. We'll find out. And I still gotta talk to Laner, Sean, about his supplement stack and his workout regimen and everything. I'm, I'm finding that when I pound the, when I get meals in, it's like I wanna eat double. <laughs> trying to space it out, but to be honest, uh, like when I get down to the nitty gritty uh, and I eat too much, dude, I just get like bloated, like full of gas, and <laughs> Priscilla hates me, so. Um, that's not always an option. And I'm fine, I gotta space my meals out at least like an hour and a half to avoid uh, indigestion. <laughs> but last night before I went to bed, I had a meal at 7.45, had a Nutrition Solutions meal. And then I went back two minutes later and I pounded one of their protein bars. We got like another 37 grams of carbs in it. And so I downed close to 80 grams of carbs in a meal. Which isn't uncommon for me, but uh, I try not to do that because it's just, you know, that's a lot of carbs. Especially if I'm gonna be heading off to bed soon. So I, I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. I haven't done my body fat. I keep saying I'm gonna do it, but I need to do it. So I really can't measure this until I do it. So maybe I'll do it now. Back in the gym. Good old Nutrition Solutions to the rescue here, guys. Uh, I'm starving. Cut the workout short. Trying to say hi? Hang on. Say hi. I can steal that. <laughs> um, cut the workout short, man. I went to the gym late. I got there at 11, did 20 minutes of cardio. I got it, sweetie. Let go, please. Hey, thank you. Did 20 minutes of cardio, and that left me 40 minutes to lift, and by the time I was done, you know, I took like a two minute break, got a towel, got set up. I did four, four or five sets of um, side shoulder raises seated, 20 all the way down to uh, 12 reps, and then I did, that's the timer, that's not the cook. And then I did, um, Front raise. I started to do Smith Machine uh, press, and my tendon was killing me. I, I tweaked it yesterday when I was with Brandon doing these uh, hammer strength dips, and I think I, I think I did something to it. So um, that's not good. Anyway, uh, I stopped after a set, and then I went over and I did time under tension front raises with cables. So I would do 10 reps together, and I'd hold one, do five reps in arm, five reps in arm, and then another five together, and did three sets of that. And by that time, man, all I could think about was food. Hoping this changes, um, or I think what I might need to do is go a little earlier because, like I said, as I get close to that uh, 16 hour mark, you know, on the noon, it just it gets rough, man. And all I can think about is food. I'm a little out of it. Hopefully, things will change today. I know that once I start eating, I'm you know I'm a whole different person, but definitely a little eh, just not myself. Let's see if there's a way to change this. I know Laner. I've been talking to Sean Laner as I was uh, working out. He's got supplements lined up he's actually doing this program so i'm gonna get macros from him and everything get his formula so we're gonna take this to the next level and see what happens when i jump on his formula time to eat well it's been kind of an interesting day man i'm starving marvin dude i gotta be honest with you guys i'm like a little depressed it's weird like i, I want you to know that even i go through this stuff i mean it doesn't matter who you are you're gonna get weird feelings but i have uh, i've watched oh look at this I've watched a steady decline in sales over the last week. 
and I can't figure out why. And yesterday I made a bunch of changes to the site, thought I was gonna be doing something good, and in turn, sales just tanked today, like there was nothing. <laughs> and I want you guys to understand that I'm not about the money. Like it doesn't matter if I sell a program to somebody, I'm not the kind of salesperson who's like, hey, you gotta buy my program, uh, don't buy anybody else's program, because ours is the best. It's not like that, I want you to make the choice and buy it and change your life. But when you're running a business and this is your source of income, yeah, when you have a day when you don't make any money compared to days when you make money that will continue to further the business, it's a little weird and it's a little depressing. Uh, what I keep trying to tell myself is, don't worry, respond, don't react. Respond, don't react. Respond, don't react, so be calm. You've been in these situations before you can easily figure this out. I mean, not easily, but you can figure this out. It's gonna take time and you gotta think and you have time to do that. If this doesn't turn around tomorrow, it's not the end of the world, but I do need to figure it out sooner or later because it's not good. You need to figure out what's going on. You need to figure out why. I have a feeling it's because we're out of stock on most of our apparel. I let that stuff go dry during the holidays because I was working on G2 and I didn't reorder. So we've got our reorder started, but we're like six weeks out. So that's not gonna solve anything. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is business. This is what this is about, guys. This is just pure business. And it's a little, you know, when you're a CEO and you work from home, you got your ups and downs. You're not always going to be happy. All I know is that I'm freaking hungry as hell right now. <laughs> I just can't stop eating. So I'm going to go have another Nutrition Solutions meal. And then we're going over to my parents' place. It's my grandfather's 96th birthday. He's 96. The dude still drives, still walks. A little shaky when he walks, but he's cool. Plays domino, smart as a tack too, which was amazing, man. This guy's memory never left him. He's quick, he's fast, he's a little hard of hearing, but dude is sharp. Like, I think my dad has a worse memory than he does. So, <laughs> it's pretty, pretty damn exciting. For the workout today, I didn't talk about it and, or did I? I did. Sorry, this is this is the mind fog I'm dealing with. Okay, I'm out of here. We're gonna go get some food. Uh, again, gonna eat another Nutrition Solutions meal. And uh, yeah, trying not to act crazy here. Had some dinner, felt good. And brownies. <laughs> My grandfather's 96th birthday, I had to eat one. I didn't have to, but I ate one anyway. And then on the way home, uh, dropped off Priscilla and Mia for bed, and I went back and I got super nachos at uh, Mi Pueblo. So <laughs> so it really, you know, again, I haven't taken the body fat, and I think I need to just kind of wind this down. This is a great example to you guys as to why you need to take body fat, because I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm fine, but now I'm going, oh wait, when I really want to measure and see if this works, I got no idea if it's gonna work or not because I don't know what my body fat is. So if I'm losing weight, that's great, but I'm losing muscle mass too. I have no idea. So if I was losing weight and body fat, I'd be good if I, my weight was staying the same and I was losing body fat, I'd be maintaining muscle. I need to figure that out. Uh, for the rest of the night, guys, I'm just gonna call it. I'm gonna go to bed, figure out in the morning.